Hi guys, my name is Chloe Brown and if you are new here, I'm so happy that you're here. Please subscribe to my channel down below and give this video a thumbs up or a thumbs down, whatever. Anything helps. Let me know how I'm doing in the comments below. This video hopefully will help you. I'm hoping so. I am doing this video, if you can't already tell by the title, um, it is gonna be teaching you guys a new way of adding volume in your hair that seriously lasts all day. A ton of you guys ask me questions all the time of how to make your hair stay voluminous all day. And I really feel like this technique is going to help you guys because it truly, truly works. Like if you do it and you do it right, you'll get volume and, and your hair will look like this all day. All right, let's just get right into the video. Okay, I'm gonna use my flat iron today to add volume in the weirdest way possible. <laughs> so I am going to put my flat iron temperature at 300 degrees. I understand you're like, whoa, that's really low. Do you look, you, you like my undercut? It's growing out, just ignore it. I don't wanna burn my hair. And so 300 degrees, if you want 270, like you're good. Let's just put it at the lowest temperature possible so that we keep the integrity of our hair, but still add that lasting volume. So here's the trick. I brushed out my hair, even though I styled it yesterday, I really didn't even use like hairspray yesterday. I just kind of teased it, but everything is brushed out now. So we are good. Here's the secret. And this is why I'm starting so low is because we don't want all of our teas just up here because then you kind of look square-ish. So you want all of your teas to be rounded and full. So we are going to lift up our hair and the reason why you lift it up here and tease it is because if you lift it here, you'll look square. So you just want to add that tease in just like that. So it should stay on itself like this. If it doesn't, you can add a little hairspray in. I would use very, very, very light hold hairspray if you were going to add hairspray in your hair because the hairspray also kind of attracts the heat and could damage your hair. So this is um, the Air Control Light Hold Hairspray from Aveda, if you guys are curious. I might use it in a few sections, but not all. So as this is teased, you take your flat iron and just press really lightly. Interesting, right? Your tease is gonna stick in there and it won't fall out. You're pretty much just like crimping your hair. You know those like little crimpers? The like to add texture, that's kind of like what you're doing. So lift your hair all the way up, tease at the root, lightly press, okay? Do this all the way around your head. Make sure that you are really concentrating your tease at the root of your hair because you don't want a huge rat's nest. Um, you just want a little one. All right, there we go. This section of my hair is done. We're not gonna touch it. We're just gonna keep going with our hair. We're going to take this hair, lift it up, tease all the way to the root, really concentrate that down. Like I said, my, curl my flat iron is at 270. If you see little flyaways that you don't want in there, that's fine. Pull them out, straighten your hair, and there you go. Don't forget to have your hair really stick straight up into the air because you don't want it to be too boxy. Okay. This one I think I did a little sh straight out. This one is perfect. I think I'm gonna do like a middle part today. I did like a deep side part yesterday. I think I'm gonna do a middle part today. Um, I'm gonna add, let's add the tease first and then we'll curl. This is a really good tip too. So when you're curling your hair, you, it's, 
it's better for you to add the tees before and then curl it, especially if your hair falls out because you don't wanna mess up that curl and make it look uh, too fluffy. You want the curl to stay exactly where you want it, um, but you also want your tees to stay in too. I highly, highly suggest you tease first and then curl. So, I think I could do this in two sections. So just add a small tease right there. I don't want this one too big. And then lift straight up in the air, pull that tease down. There we go. And then let's move this hair back over. Okay. I like to be a little more delicate on these top layers um, just because they are the most delicate layers, especially those ones in the front. They get the most stun damage, they're touched the most. Uh, we like to straighten these a lot because they're our face framing hairs. So I'm actually gonna leave those out but keep the curl in or keep the tees in because I kind of do want them to flow a little bit more on my face. All right. We're gonna take this back piece and tease that. See how I'm teasing, but then brushing back up? Cause I don't want a huge knot, remember? I just want everything really concentrated at the scalp. Take my flat iron, barely. Okay. Got a section under here. See how I did a little bit too much on there, so I'm just gonna lightly brush it out. Okay, and then flip that over because we already did that. And then last tease, I think, is right here. Okay, let's see what is going on now. All right, tease is in place. It's not going nowhere. <laughs> but we are gonna curl it. Um, and then I'll show you what to do after. All right, and now that we are here, I am going to just lightly take my nails, I do have acrylic nails on right now, and just lightly make sure that everything is pretty clean looking on my tees. You can also fix it a little later. Now we're gonna start curling. I am gonna use the one inch curling iron from Conair Professional. I got this from Sally Beauty. This thing is originally $34. There is a coupon code right now for $10 off curling irons, which is amazing. I really like this one and I like this, the 3 4 inch one or 0.75 inch. And then the link will be in the description box below. That code is good until the 28th of February. So all February long, $10 off a curling iron. So you get this curling iron for 23 bucks. Yeah, yeah. So let's go in here. I'm gonna have these frame my face. So I'm gonna bring them out a little bit and then undo it. This is my undone curling technique, I guess. Um, I do have a video. I'll put a little eye right here in the corner if you guys wanna go see how I completely do my hair all like this. So I'm just gonna run through quickly curl these pieces and then I'll show you guys exactly what I do at the very end. All right, like I said, I just kind of lightly curled everything. I didn't want it to be too curly today. Um, there is some type of movement in there. 
I just found this dupe at Sally Beauty too. Uh, this is the Kenra Platinum Dry Texture Spray dupe. It smells actually better in my opinion. <laughs> so I love dry texture spray on any type of undone beach look. I just lift up my hair, spray it all in. It just adds a little bit of separation, adds some type of grip to your hair so it doesn't all stick all sleek together. <laughs> Even though that sleeky look is so pretty. Okay, so if you feel like it's too big up here, don't worry, just run your fingers through it. But do you see how much body I have through this section of my hair too? So it really lifts up so much body in there. If you struggle, I highly suggest this method. And then you can even tuck these little cute pieces and then keep one out. Or, if you don't want a center part, look at that volume. Like, are you kidding? That's amazing. That is volume. Maybe a little too much. <laughs> Here is this deep part. If you guys want to see that, I'll go ahead and do a 360. Do you see how I'm like shaking my hair and then it just stays? Yeah. <laughs> like if I were to do that and I had regular tees in my hair, I don't think that it would stay like this. So this is a really good technique. Obviously, I kind of wish that I would have uh, styled my hair a little bit differently for this technique, but this is what I had going for me today. I hope this tutorial helped you in figuring out a new way of creating volume and texture to your hair that lasts all day. In the comments, let me know if this technique worked for you. And I would love to hear from you guys any feedback um, and any ideas of future videos. So thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you guys in my next video.